So hi guys, it's Carly Reese, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my Domo. Well, actually, I named it after another character, Domo. He's like a brown thing, and um, actually, while my parents were on vacation, I made two little paintings. You just have to have a little canvas, and then you can paint whatever you want. And then here I have this Carly one, which my babysitter drew out for me, and then I painted it, and I'm not very good at painting. <laughs> And then I made this whole thing, and this is what I'm going to be showing you how to make, but it looks a lot better when it's on paper. So, right here, uh-oh, I have, here, I'm going to tilt it down so you can see. Right here, I have a black notebook, and in this notebook is my Domo notebook. And the first page, here he is. That's his name. Domo, Freeman, or Philip. <laughs> so there he is. And then I make all different kinds of him. I have Dr. Domo. Hawaiian Domo. Uh oh, it got stuck. And Devil Domo. And today we are going to be making the Ballerina Domo. And actually, when you are making the, like, ballerina domo it's going at first it's going to be this and then after that I'm just going to add the details so practically you are going to learn how to make mr. domo so first you might want to get um, I have two pencils and a pen even though I'm probably not going to need a pen so Here's what you're going to do. I'm just going to put this right here. So first what I do, I just make a rectangle. And make it probably a decent size. So there probably to here. And it's really hard to make straight lines. Oops, usually I don't use a ruler, but you can if you want to. But I don't. Make it another line up. And then you're not you don't want to oops you don't want to make this too deep so you don't want it to go all the way down here and then up there you want to probably make it small if you want it big you can but I don't want to make them big like see look I almost made it too big it actually is kind of too big so I'm going to erase and kind of make it curve in so it's not so bad There. And then for the hair, this is the hard part. Usually what I do, I first make a line and go out, and then you make some spikes, then you make it go the other way, and then you make it go back at it. You can make the hair however you want, but this is how I usually do it. I just make it like random, make it fun. I kind of have like a pattern. So it starts like here, then it goes up, then it goes over, then it goes back over, then it goes up, then it goes over. That's what I usually always do. I never really realized that. But then at the end, you have to make sure you're kind of on the spot. So you have to make sure, like, that you have it identical with the other side so it ends, like, there. So here is that part. And then down here, you don't, like, you don't want to make it go like that, like, too deep. You want to make it try and go more inward. Like here, and make it go down all the way to the next line. And then you're going to take this here and you're going to draw up. Don't draw all the way up. Probably stop at somewhere that should be a good spot. And then you want to make a line down. So I have to do this side too. And then you're going to want to make a diagonal line, not too far down, but, and then you're going to make a line. So it should be like that. He's a little too skinny, but he'll be good. And then make a line down. You can go a little, oh. Okay, that's not even. So 
So, and then when you're done, you want to make a line over here. And then, you see how that one's kind of out a little more? So, I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to erase that and make it go out a little more. And then make the line down. And then just do that. So, it's even. And then, now we're going to get into, like, what he, like, looks like. So... This is like his body, now we have to do the details on his body. So, here is where his legs stop. And then you're going to make a line probably equally down the middle. I'm, I mean, I know it's going to be a little off, but that's okay. Then you're going to make three different size lines. One medium, one big, and one small. Any order. And then those are his nails. And then you're going to make them here too. Try and make them while they're up here. Try and make them more spread out because it's small. It's bigger than the bottom. So there. And then to his eyes. He looks a little different. His It looks skinny. But he'll be okay. And then try and make the best circle you can. And try not to make them super big. Like, I kind of made mine a little big, but then that just means I have to make the circle and its eye a little bigger. There. And then here... It's always hard to try and make the same size, but we're not robots, so we can't make it perfect. And then, when you're finished making your eyes, which I'm not, I'm almost done here and then for his mouth this is the last thing make a line probably to a little past his eye and then you're going to want to make a tooth and then want to make a line down here but don't make it go all the way down like here and now that's the finished domo now we are going to make him into a ballerina so time to do that um, I gotta think of how we're gonna do this we're going to make him in a leotard with long sleeves so there is his sleeve and then you're going to want to make it so there is his little bodysuit leotard and then you want to erase those lines right there and then Time to make the tutu. Maybe like just make it aligned across. And then probably just make lines. It's the best way. Yeah, this doesn't turn out very good, but And then we're probably going to make a little bow in his hair. I know he's a boy, but he just, <laughs> I don't know. It's just fun to make him things. Like how I made him in that Hawaiian outfit was kind of weird. 
but he's a girl. No, he's not a girl. He's a boy. Okay, then make his tutu a little longer. There. And then... Um... I'm gonna erase this hair right here. And then make... Then kind of like continuous hair to go. And then I'm going to make a little thing up here. There. So there. Domo the ballerina is. And I know I should make ballet shoes. Which I'm actually probably going to do right now. Um, how do you do this? Wait, let me think if you're facing sideways. <laughs> so this should be lower. There. Um, <laughs> should be here. And then make it across and then from the corner. Wait, no, I can't make it that way. <laughs> and then across. What if I did that? Maybe it would be easier. Yeah, I like the other side better. Oops. Um, and they're gonna make that the shoe. So, here it is. And actually, now I'm going to go over some things. Make it skinny. Make it there. Put some lines in this bow. So I went into detail, I made a recoloring, which isn't very straight, and then I made some lines of polka dots on the bow. So I hope you liked my ballerina Doma. So here's what he looked like. And I know he's a boy, which is kind of weird, so um, it's just a fun thing to do. So bye, I hope you liked my video. If you like my Carly Reese YouTube channel, please subscribe and thumbs up my videos. If you want to see more craft videos, comment down below. And also, any more video suggestions, you can comment down below because anything you guys want to see, I can do. So, bye!